Hi, this is Trey Pastor. Welcome to my Blu-ray update for the week beginning July 31st, uh, 2016. This month is over. It's going to be August tomorrow. Unfortunately, i got to go back to work on Tuesday, but i got one more day off, so I'm going to enjoy it. Um, I went to Target uh, in the mall with my sister on Tuesday, and I went got one thing from Best Buy. And I went to uh, Best Buy around where I live at, and then I went to Barnes & Noble on Saturday when I went to the movies. So I'm going to go through the uh, Target stuff that I got first. And these were like, I think, $4.99, $7.99. Good prices for this for these movies. Uh, from Target, uh, I got American Gangster, Denzel Washington, of course, and uh, Russell Crowe. This is a really good movie. I remember seeing this. And just a fantastic performance by Denzel. And this and Russell Crowe is really good in this. And uh, by the, the Harlem Drug Dealer. It's a really good movie. I think this is, uh, yeah, really Scott. A really good movie. The next movie I got, of course, is uh, Academy Award winning... Uh, Movie by um, Clint Eastwood, Mystic River. Really good performances in this. Uh, St. Sean Penn, Tim Robbins, Kevin Bacon, Lawrence Fishburne, Marsh Gay Hayden, and Laura Linney. Just a really a good a drama about friends. And it's just, oh, you got to see this movie. This is a powerful movie. And the ending will just kind of break your heart. Okay. There we go. Now, the next movie, of course, is a uh, biography on um, Jim Morrison. Okay. And Val Kilmer, I think this is one of his best performances out of a stone film. Uh, where he plays uh, Val Kilmer, he plays Jim Morrison. I think uh, Meg Ryan's in this as well. You got Kyle McLaughlin, Frank Way, Kevin Dillon, and Billy Idol's in this. It's just a really good biography. Uh, the Door. I remember seeing this. This I remember watching this, and this I went out and bought the soundtrack because The Doors, because I absolutely love the music from The Doors. And so I got it from that. And last but not least, is a movie that I. I've heard, but I've never seen this movie from beginning to end, and I have to watch this. This is, of course, uh, Blas Lerman, that's his name, his version of William Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. I know this is the Romeo and Juliet tale, but it's put to a modern setting, and I want to actually see that. I mean, I've seen pictures of it, and I think I've even seen clips of it, but I haven't seen the movie from beginning to end, so I definitely want to see this. So that's what I got. Got that from Baz Lerman, who I loved his... Uh, movie with Nicole Kidman and uh, Edward McGregor. Uh, what's the name of that movie? I can't think of the name of that movie, but you know, the, the one where they actually sing in it. Uh, I've got the name of that movie, but I can't think of it. Uh, damn, when they mix the songs. I can't remember the name of the movie, but it'll come to me later. Anyway, and then I went to uh, Barnes and & Noble. And this movie, uh, I saw the trailer for this a few months ago, and then I, I didn't know it was coming out. And this is from the director of Once and Begin Again, and this is Sing Street. Absolutely love this movie about a, this young guy that's his family is totally dysfunctional and you know he's you know his family's about to split up and he has an older brother a younger sister uh, and his family's totally dysfunctional and he gets transferred to this new school and you know of course he has to put up with, you know with priests and abusive priests and bullies and stuff but he escapes through music and then he sees this girl this chick right here and he uh, kind of makes up on a spot to get to talk to her and says he has a band and she, she can model for him and then they have to kind of form a band <laughs> uh, so she can be part, part of it. But it's a really good uh, story set in Ireland and it's just really, really well done. And the performances and music is just fantastic in this. And it's a really fun film and you really like it and enjoy this. And I did a review of this and check out my channel, this channel, and you can see my review. Look for this review of Sing Street. Okay? It's a really good movie. I really enjoyed that. Okay, now, the next thing I got, I'm going to go to the uh, stuff that I got from uh, Best Buy up around here while I live at. Put that over there. Don't worry, the maid will clean that up. Uh, next thing I got, two comedies on sale, I think for $7.99, only at Best Buy. Uh, the Money Pit. I remember seeing this movie, Tom Hanks, Shelly Long, when they buy a house and then it just basically sinks on them and just becomes literally a money pit. And it just, this house just gets destroyed in this. I remember seeing it a long time ago when it first came out. It was a fun movie. Now, the next movie I got is another Tom Hanks movie, uh, The Burbs, which, where they live in the suburbs with, uh, and they think their neighbors are really weird and they're doing strange things. So they, you know, these they team up to, to bust these neighbors to see what they're really doing. And it's a, it's a funny movie. I'm not sure who directed this one. Uh, Joe Dante, right? Yeah, Joe Dante. But it's a, it's a fun movie. It's weird in spots and funny in spots. But the burbs, really good. Now, this next movie, of course, is, of course, uh, Notorious B.I.G. Right, bi biography. I remember seeing this. This was a really good collector's edition, unrated director's cut. 
Okay, and this is a really good uh, thing on uh, Notorious B.I.G., a really good biography. And the actor who plays, I'm trying to the actor who plays, and he's really good, the guy who plays the title character, of course, he's really good in this, and the music is fantastic. And the whole way he did this whole period was absolutely fantastic. And definitely this movie should have won some awards, I think. This is, this is a really good biography. Okay. And last but not least, there's a movie that I, when I saw the trailer for this when it came out, you know, before it came out, and I was interested in seeing it, but I never got around to seeing it when it came out, when it came out in the movie theater. So when it came out, I said, you know, let me pick it up and see how it is. This is kind of made from like a point of view, uh, filming Hardcore Henry. And I definitely want to see it because I, the, tra the trailer just made me interested in seeing it, where, where they actually shoot from his point of view, the, the Hardcore Henry character you see from his point of view, you know, which is, you see the fighting and the shooting and all that stuff. And I definitely interested in see, so I'll be watching this pretty soon. So look for my review of this Hardcore Henry. Now, the last but not least thing is I went to um, movies on Saturday and, and Barnes Noble's still having their, uh, I think today's the last day for their 50% um, off run on the uh, Criterions. So I went and had it and I got three more. And I got uh, Here Comes Mr. Jordan, which I did a review of. You can check my channel. It stars Robert Montgomery, Claude Rains. Uh, it's just a really good movie about a guy who's a boxer and he's also an amateur pilot. He crashes on his plane on the way to to New York and he gets yanked accidentally before he dies to heaven and of course his body gets cremated and then he has to you know go to Mr. Jordan which was played by Claude Rains to uh, actually find him a new body <laughs> because he you know he was supposed to live another 50 years so they have to put him in a new body and then that new body has complications with his life and stuff and it's a really good movie I love old Hollywood movies and this is classic Claude Rains I absolutely love and Robert Montgomery is, is, is the you know is the boxer uh, Joe what's his name Joe uh, Joe, uh, I forgot his name, man. Work class boxer, Joe something, I forgot. But he, he's really good in this, and again, Claude Rains is just class personified in this. I absolutely love this movie. Like I said, I did a review of this last night, it's on my channel, so you can check that out. What did I think of, of Here Comes to Join? I, did, I love Ohio when it's Criterion, so and I watched the behind the scenes stuff too, and, and they give you all the history of the movie and stuff, and, and all the se sequels that came after this, you know, all the or remakes of this movie. And they can tell that's a good movie when people try to remake it and, and do different versions of it. But the original to me is the best. Okay, the next thing I got is uh, Rita Hayworth, and this is Gilda. Gilda, there we go. Uh, uh, I remember seeing this movie a couple, a couple of times, I think, on uh, AMC. This stars uh, uh, Rita Hayworth and Glenn uh, Ford. And Space takes place in, in, in South America, is it? takes uh impress errors excuse me impress errors and she plays a uh the wife of a rich guy and and uh glenn ford is like you know he works with a guy and he used to be yeah you know, in love with rita haywood's character in this movie and it's complicated as, as those movies would be back in the 1940s and stuff but it's a good movie uh 1946 110 minutes a really good movie a really good drama romance and stuff and rita haywood never looked better in this and and Ford gives a great performance. Definitely, uh, I saw this, I had to grab this because I, like I said, I've seen it like I think two times at least on a, uh, AMC, and it's definitely worth, you know, like I said, I love old Hollywood movies, so I, said, I had to grab that. And last but not least is um, a few weeks ago, was it a few weeks ago, or maybe two weeks ago, whenever it was, I bought three Charlie Chaplin Criterions, and I know there was one more that I wanted to get, so I wrote down the ones that I got, and then when I went looking for it, I now, I couldn't find any Charlie Chaplin. Then I saw this. Oh, I got it. So I grabbed it. And this is Charlie Chaplin's The Kid. Okay, Charlie, Charlie Chaplin and uh, Jackie Coogan. Okay, so I think uh, there might be more, probably more uh, Jackie, not Jackie, Ch <laughs> Charlie Chaplin movies. But I wanted to get, you know, at least, so I got four. So maybe I'll have like a Charlie Chaplin marathon. Maybe I'll like a Charlie Chaplin Sunday. Every Sunday I'll watch it. Uh, I'll be watch the Charlie Chaplin movie and review it. Maybe I can do it like that. That way I can. So I have the three other movies, and then plus this one, The Kid, which is a classic. Okay, and uh, definitely um, want to see this. Cause I definitely wanted to beef up my Charlie Chaplin clock because I didn't have any Charlie Chaplin movies. And I know he's, you know, he's a classic, but, you know, everybody knows the, the character of the, you know. So um, definitely glad to get this. So that's my pickups for this week. Uh, let me know what you think of them. Feel free to leave comments down below. And if you like this, uh, 
video, please hit the subscribe button down below. I also have another channel called Paul Views and Opinions. The link to that channel is also in the description box below, so please check that out as well. And links to my Facebook and Twitter are down there as well, please, so check that out. And this is Trey Passer saying so long and take care.